Hey guys, quick tutorial here. If you're using WordPress and you're using Gravity Forms and you're getting uh, non-business related emails, like, and you're only getting Gmails and yahoo.com and iCloud.com and those ones, and you wanna weed those out and just get business emails on your forms, here's a very quick solution to do that. So uh, let's jump into WordPress. We'll go to plugins and you need to have Gravity Forms already installed. We will do quick search gravity forms let's just search gravity forms block and it's this one here gravity forms block email domains so if we install this and then activate it it will create new functionality in the latest forms uh within gravity forms and we will click on forms to do a quick sample together i will grab any form, app development form, why not? And then we go to our email, and this is the latest version of um, Gravity Forms, which is phenomenal, I'm a big, big fan of it. I'm gonna move myself over. So we click on email, we get our settings on the right-hand side. Uh, we're gonna go down, you have your appearance tab, and then a little bit further down, you have advanced, and that's where we're gonna find the block email domains. You can look right over this. And this is where you can put in gmail.com, yahoo.com, Outlook, all those things. So you can put in all those things as well as a message that, you know, if someone were to try to submit using a Gmail account, this notification would pop up the same way that a, um, uh, a required field pops up with a warning if they don't fill out the required field. So let's see, you know, please use your business email only. And um, you can kind of limit things here accordingly. You can always add on, but just do the comma and the space in between those domains, save the format, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, let me know. Hit the comments and uh, take care.